This is not a vote to be transparent that I saw myself making in 2019 when I made, ran for school board, and it is a heavy one. When I was a classroom teacher, I learned to design my classroom in preparation for an active shooter. It was a small classroom, and I needed a place for my students to hide and to be comfortable during a lockdown. The teacher assistant, who would not let me stand by myself, stood by the door, and every teacher who is still here knows why we stood by the door. Because when you send your babies to school, we love them and will protect them literally with our lives. Lockdown drills, the additional personnel, the new crisis plan, the growth mindset, now the evolve, added layer and effect that will help keep, us, keep our students and staff safe. If there's anything I can do from this seat to stand by the door, I will do it. I fully support Evolve, and I will continue to stand by the door. There are no second chances. Thank you. We're taking this vote because of increased weapon carrying to school. It's simple as plain as that, and it's been an increased weapon carrying in our school division. On top of that, what we see around the country and in the Commonwealth with violence and school shootings has not um, helped the situation. There are folks out there saying, well, why don't we stop the causes for weapon carrying? And what are the causes for weapon carrying? I've read every academic paper and newspaper article on weapon carrying in the last 25 years. The most common causes of weapon carrying, and the school board is very clear on what those are, as is our superintendent, is that is drug use and drug dealing, bullying, being a victim of a bully, and lastly, it's me the mental health of our students. These are three of the common risk factors for increased weapon carrying. Now, society has failed in managing each of these things. We failed in the war on drugs that's been going on since the 1980s. We have failed in addressing adequate mental health facilities for our children, our students, and for our loved ones. We have failed at providing uh, appropriate rehabilitation for people who are on drugs, including young people. We have failed at keeping weapons that are so prevalent in our society out of our schools. This is a series of failures that society has had, and it has been dumped on schools around the country to solve them. We are supposed to solve the mental health crisis. We're supposed to solve the drug problem. We're supposed to solve the weapons problem. We don't have the resources to solve the root causes of increased weapon carrying to school. It doesn't matter how many psychologists we hire, how many social workers we bring in, how many counselors we have, and we've done each of those things each of the last year, four years that this board has been together. Each of them. Each year we've addressed mental health. Each year we have expanded programs to do it. Each year we're trying to do more, but we, we can't fix that. So what the public has demanded, and has demanded near unanimously, is that we do something about this right now. And what we need to do right now is this weapons detection system, which we will be implementing this fall. The community spoke strongly at community halls, extensive surveys, and to each of us and to the superintendent. Uh, we take our safety and security survey and climate surveys very seriously, and this is where we've ended up. We will tonight be voting on adopting, procuring, and implementing a weapons detection system for all secondary schools. I fully support this action. I'm disappointed that we have arrived at this point, but we are here now, and this is what we're going to do. And you heard very eloquently and emotionally from Ms. Adele Jackson, who was a teacher in the classroom, about the kinds of things that teachers face when thinking about safety and security. Um, they're not thinking about their math lessons or their English lessons. They're thinking about locking down and securing a room, protecting their students, and doing what it takes. And so anything our board can do to further the safety and security of the school division, we will continue to do. We as a school system have evolved. Uh, it was only four years ago, I still remember when I did that um, 
a board brief um, with the previous superintendent um, boasting about getting all the Potomac schools uh, the secure entrances. That was a huge thing back then, the secured entrances and the vestibules. And that is still a big thing now and having those resources and protection. But we have adapted to the challenges of what we're facing not only as a school system but as a society, as a county. We know that our police department do not have enough police officers to provide an SRO to us in every one of our buildings, let alone our secondary schools, everyone having one. We have one at every high school and we have ones rotating throughout our middle schools, but we have adaptive and we as a board, we as a division, have added more security personnel and specialists in our schools in the last two years than I think any other board has done before. Beyond adding the staff and the support and security specialists, we are now moving to a system, again, as many have kind of articulated, it will not be perfect, but it is a further deterrent and an added protection to our students. And I see promise as I see news stories of a system like Evolve detecting a gun in Buffalo schools. Again, not a perfect solution, but it does help save lives and it can detect weapons like that. So the school system has my full support to adopt the Evolve system. Though the students will be wary of it at first and, implement, and implementation will be rough and rocky, these devices do save lives. For the betterment of our students and the safety of our school staff and students, I have to say the students are in full support. This is a critical next step for the school division to ensure that we are doing everything within our power to keep our students, our staff, our schools safe. And I just want to thank the board for your support of this effort, for your support throughout the entire process of trying to investigate what's the best way um, and trusting me and the safety and security team to do the research to come back and bring forward a solution that we think is viable in supporting our schools. It's already been said tonight that there is nothing that is going to stop everything but I do believe that this is a critical next step for us and the right step for us to take. So again, I just wanna thank you for your full support. I think that our schools will definitely be safer with this in place. And I wanna reiterate and double down on our commitment to continuing to uh, pay close attention to best in class research around you know, national practices for safety. And as newer innovations uh, come forward, we will continue to bring forward um, additional protections that we believe will help us in our efforts to keep schools safe. So this is one uh, layer of protection, but as other things become available, you should expect that I will be bringing those things before you as well.